Have you ever pondered the path to becoming a serial killer? We are both fascinated and terrified by the subject. In this video, we'll delve into the startling reality of what motivates people to commit such horrible atrocities. Prepare yourself to discover the intricate and frequently unsettling mindset that leads to becoming a serial killer. A serial killer is a person who kills a number of victims over time, often with breaks in between each homicide. In certain cases, serial killers abduct and torture their victims before killing them. Although the motivations of serial killers are frequently unknown, deviant psychological processes, particularly significant antisocial inclinations, are to blame. In society, serial killers frequently arouse both curiosity and dread. Their crimes frequently attract attention from the media, infamy, and fans who research their murders or, in some instances, develop relationships with the murderer. For decades, people have been both captivated and appalled by serial killers. It is challenging to understand how someone might kill another person without feeling regret or compassion. On the other hand, how can one turn into a serial killer? Do they have it naturally, or is it the result of their upbringing and life experiences? The intricate and unsettling psychology that leads to becoming a serial killer will be discussed in this video. Is it true that serial killers are produced or born? Is among the most often asked questions. Although there is no easy solution to this problem, scientists have discovered that there are several genetic and biological characteristics that can influence a person's tendency for violence. In the frontal lobe of the brain, which regulates impulse control and decision-making. Investigations have revealed that certain serial killers have abnormalities. Due to this, it's possible for someone to act violently more frequently and show a lack of empathy. But it's crucial to keep in mind that there are many other factors that contribute to the emergence of a serial killer. Trauma and events from childhood can also be quite important. Many serial killers were subjected to abuse, neglect, or other forms of trauma as children and originated from broken households. These encounters might alter a person's perspective and make them think that using violence to deal with difficulties or tough emotions is appropriate. The environment can influence a serial killer's growth in addition to genetics and early life events. Many serial killers originate from unstable or underprivileged homes, which can cause feelings of loneliness and hostility toward society. This may hinder their ability to establish lasting bonds with others and exacerbate their feelings of despair and hopelessness. This might sometimes push individuals to resort to violence as a means of establishing their dominance and control. Lack of emotional control is another issue that may help someone become a serial killer. Many serial killers have trouble controlling their strong emotions such as wrath or other strong emotions. This may make it challenging for them to develop positive interactions with other people and may result in feelings of isolation and loneliness. Sometimes, in order to deal with their mental suffering and acquire a sense of power and control, they may resort to violence. It's crucial to remember that not everyone who experiences these variables will end up a serial killer. Being a serial killer is a complicated and varied process that incorporates many different elements. Additionally, a lot of people who experience these risk factors go on to enjoy long, healthy lives. Despite this, it is essential to understand the psyche of serial killers in order to stop these atrocities from happening. We can help prevent people from using violence as a coping mechanism for their emotional anguish and feelings of isolation by recognizing risk factors and offering early intervention and support. While some serial killers have severe bipolar illness diagnoses, some do show signs of psychosis. The number of serial killers who are deemed mentally ill enough to be classified as mad, however, is extremely small. Instead, the majority exhibit sociopathic or psychopathic traits. As a result, they may be diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder. In conclusion, the psychology of becoming a serial killer is a challenging and unsettling subject that fascinates and terrifies us. While it's possible that we'll never fully comprehend why someone would choose to conduct such horrible crimes, we can take measures to stop them from happening by recognizing risk factors and offering early intervention and support. We hope that this video has helped you gain an important understanding of the psychological factors that lead someone to become a serial killer. For more thought-provoking and educational films, please subscribe to our channel if you like this one. Thanks for watching.